Yeah, we about to get into this thing. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, you picked uh, the right one today, Lockout. Oh, shit, you. now. <laughs> mm, 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 man. Because I know you work for them cats, too, right? Yeah. Uh, no, nah, I don't work for them no more, man. Mm, but you was over there, though. I, I, was the, I was the ambassador. I was the ambassador. I was the... Uh, I, I was the ambassador. You promoted them like I, I did, man. I, you was on that. Yeah, I, I seen your channel. You were yeah. talking about J&R a lot, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> man, oh, man. Yo, guys. Yeah, I'm back. You know, we already chopping it up before we even started the music, man, because my man said, yo, I got something to say about this company. He said he want to bring it out there to the new folks that's, that's interested in coming into the game. So today's podcast is an exposure podcast. Now let me break it down to you right quick. Now let me let me break it down. This is not about This is not about, you know, this is not, you know, bashing a company or anything like that. You know, so let me let you guys know. You guys wanted you you guys say, "Yo, instead of talking to the recruiters about the company, y'all say y'all want a a, a driver that either worked or that either drove or driven or drive for the company to talk about the company that's what y'all said y'all want y'all said y'all want the real the raw the good the bad and the ugly y'all don't just want the recruiter sugar sugar coating sugar coat jigabooing hoodwinking (laughs) y'all don't want none of that you've been had you've been took You've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, let us stray, run them up. This is what he does. I don't want none of that. So uh, let me uh, bring into the stage my man KB Smooth. He's here to he's he's here to talk about his experience with uh, Super Service backslash J and R Swoogle. Now, I know what you guys about to say. Yo, J&R Shrugger, lockout, man. What's up, man? Why, why, why you get, what? You used to promote the company, like, religiously. Yes, I did. I was the ambassador. I was the man that brought plenty of people over there. You got there. stuck it in like I did, yo. Yeah. I brought mm-hmm. plenty, I brought plenty of people over there and got paid well for it. But, you know, things happen. Now, now things happen to me. You know what I'm saying? You guys know my story, but that's my story. But here's my man to tell his, his experience with J&R Schwugel. Now, before J&R Schwugel, before it was J&R Schwugel, it was Super Service, right? Yeah, and actually before Super Service, it was Gainey Transportation. Way back in the like early sixties and seventies and stuff. So. Oh, okay, okay. And then Super Service came and took over that uh, that spot. Yeah, basically Gainey got the got they were, he was doing some shady stuff. Mm-hmm. A quick background: he got arrested just like Jerry Swift did, and over some embezzlement and some some crooked stuff. So a board of directors came in and bought Gainey from him. That's why when you was at Super Service, and I'm sure you you pulled some of them like out, man, them GTS trailers mm-hmm. and Gainey transportation trailers. Mm-hmm. That's why they still had those. So Super Service came about because they had to come up with a new gimmick name to the public to erase the bad name of Gainey. So that's what they came up with this gimmick called Super Service. Okay. Uh, LLC. That was the new company. And I got hired on back in uh, 2016 at the rail, after I left rail transport, which is get your CDL program, which got me into the trucking game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I left rail after seven and a half months and, and rail, not bashing them. They had a hell of a training program. They actually, some of the fundamentals they taught me to drive the truck is what I use still to this day. But it's not about the circumstance that caused me to leave that company. It's yeah. not about rail. It's not about rail. It's about super service. I so know, let's talk I about, know, just give so, it a quick background So back to super service, go ahead yeah, It's about super service So you came into gotcha. super service Explain the, uh, explain this uh, uh, Take me, take me through the, the, the call to the recruiter Take me through the recruiting process Up until the orientation Okay, well, I, so I didn't even know this company existed Like I man mm-hmm. I, I, I was on 10th Street Just checking around different companies You know, after leaving that former company so I was like, oh, Super Service LLC, and they close to me, Kentucky. Uh, the lady called me back, was like, yeah, um, 
we think we can get you in here. We usually take people with a year experience, but we see you got almost nine months in. We could take you in. Okay. You wouldn't have to go through no more training. Oh, go ahead. I said, okay, I'm following you. I'm following you. Okay. So uh, I was like, okay, it seemed like a decent company. They was going to start me out 42 cents, but it was a sliding scale. She said, want more of my performance, I'll get up to 48 cents. As long as I keep my fuel, MPGs, no safety points, blah, 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 right? But Sound your, like a good gig. So. But, your, but your basic your, your basic was 42. Hey, it's 42 cents. Oh, okay. Yeah, 42 cents. So not bad. Still on a year driver. I thought that was pretty decent coming from a last company making less than 29 cents. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, okay. So I, uh, you know, they, they put me on the crack hound, y'all. For those who don't know what a crack hound is, Greyhound. This is a no-go. I'm going to tell drivers right now. If you hiring at a company, no offense, and they're going to put you on a Greyhound when they got enough money to either rent you a car or fly you, don't go. I'm sorry. If they can't afford to pitch you on nothing but a crack hound, that's a no-go for me right there. But anyway, Super Service put me on the Greyhound. Took me four days to get here, lockout, man. They had mm. me docked down in New York. The bus broke down three times, switched three out of the buses. That was already just a effed up experience right there, bro. Mm -hmm. Get me to Super Service. So finally, I get to Somerset, Kentucky. That's their yard. I'm pretty sure you've been there. I don't know if you've been there. No, nah, I haven't been. That was I haven't been to yard. The, That's where yeah, I, I haven't oh. been to their I haven't been since... Uh, J and R brought Super Service out. I I haven't had the pleasure. Of... You probably went to Minnesota, didn't you? Yeah. Well, no. When I you talking about when I came into J and R Swoogle, I came in in the uh, yeah because that's I, the main joint without a yeah, Minnesota. I, yeah, yeah, I came in. I came in at the uh, at the uh, Columbus Yard. Yeah, I I didn't. I oh, I drove. Oh, okay, Ohio. You're yeah, Ohio I, boy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I drove. I didn't no crack hound. No nothing. I drove. <laughs> got you know my son. Me and my son got into the F one fifty. He brought me up here to Columbus, dropped me off, and he went home. And you know they put us up in the hotel and all like that. So, all right. So what the experience? You down in Kentucky? Okay, go ahead. Okay, first day. You know, is sign your life away. You in class. Uh, we had to do a, a, a like a physical thing, uh, not just your DOT physical, but it was like a truck thing. You had to go out there. You had to pop the hood of the truck. Mm -hmm. You had to uh, get in, get in the driver's side, get out the driver's side, get okay. in the passenger side, get out the passenger side. Okay. Walk to the back, hook the lines to the trailer, duck walk underneath the trailer, okay. come back underneath the trailer, duck walk, go to the back, open the door, uh -huh. get in the trailer, walk all the way to the end of the trailer, uh -huh. walk out the trailer, and out and do all that twice. Within 15 minutes. If you didn't do that, you will fail. They'll send you back on the crack hand. Okay, so hold on right quick. Hold on. These guys have you to do all of that. You know what I'm saying? Now, for a guy, for, for a guy like, like me, you know, to about 250, you know, 250, uh, six foot and all like that, you know, I, you know, plus I'm old, knees bad and all like that. You know what I'm saying? How, how in, in the hell? Does these not this no 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 uh let, let me hold on I, I gotta get my I gotta get my thoughts together no shots fired hold on. no shots fired. no it's fine go ahead go no, ahead no shots fired to you uh to you uh drivers out there no shots fired you know what I'm saying but how in the hell God damn it, stop that. that you guys is passing this shit. You know what I'm saying? They want you to get into the. They, I'm gonna be real, like, said, oh, I barely passed myself. Go ahead. Yeah. They, they said you said they want them to get into the trailer, up under the trailer, duck walk under the trailer, into that, into this. How how is a guy that's about three fifty or more is 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 pass is passing and getting on the truck? I'm gonna tell you, they sent five people home out of my orientation because of that. Wow. I barely passed, bro. I'm ex-military, 10 and a half years. My knees are jacked up, and I was pushing 280 then when I came to Super Service. I'm slimming down now. I'm about 264 now. Okay. I'm trying to get under okay. 220. But okay. That's you feel me? Man. But that's that shit up. killed that's me. Excuse my language, y'all. But uh, that shit killed me, man. Like, I almost barely passed. He was like, you need to duck down a little bit more. I'm like, mother, brother, you get your ass on it. This is not what I'm going to do every day. And that, I ain't duck walking underneath the truck, but I did it, though. Go ahead. Go ahead. And, we, out, man. and, and ahead. we don't do none of that shit. None of that shit. We don't duck. I crawl. Now, I'm, I'm serious. I crawl up under the truck, man. Who the fuck duck walk under the truck? And we got these trailer tails now. You can't even go underneath the trailer like that exactly. with these new trailers. Exactly. Who in the hell duck walk 
Leave it in the comments below. Some, I want to know. Some, some, I want to know. Do, do, yeah, I, I want to know. Ahead. I want to know. Do you fucking guys really duck walk up under a truck every day? I want to know that. I want to know that. I want to know your name. I want to know what company you work for that you do. Well, you don't have to tell me the company. Even but if I, you flatbedders, y'all ain't duck walking on no damn trail. You're yeah, not duck ahead. walking. Exactly. Go ahead. Continue, uh, uh, KB. Anyway, so once you all, once you pass that, because you go in a room and they'll tell you once you pass. So once you pass that, then you go to the doctor and do your regular DOT physical where they have you stand against the wall, hold the weight. Uh, ask you about this and that and the third, check your blood pressure, sugar, and all that. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now you got to do two physicals in one day, basically. You get through all that, then you come out there. They give you lunch, though. They have some order out place come in, and you can pick, a, pick like, from a salad, sub, piece, or something on this piece of paper. So they did give you that. So that's it. Then they give you the van. You go back to the hotel. Oh, they give you these vouchers, bro. Uh, I, I still had mine a week out of orientation, but they give you a voucher. There's a KFC by the hotel. A uh, 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 Captain D's, a Taco Bell, a couple of plates, but they give you this little card where you can go and um, get food after you leave orientation. So you only have to pay for your eating and meal. So I do give super service that. They give you that card when you go in the, because you, your orientation should be three days. Your fourth day is getting your truck and you on the road. So okay. did all that the first day. Second day you go and you watch all these safety training and about the company and what they expect from you and what you expect from them, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, basically just a boring ass day. You watching videos, film, listen to these fucking people talk to you, sign up for your medical benefits. If you want those, okay. uh, lease op if you're going to be a lease operator, you're in a different class. Uh, I was a company driver then. So I was in the class with the company drivers and went through that third day, basically more monogamous, boring shit. No reason for us to be there. Fourth day, you get assigned your truck. Some people got it the third day. I didn't get my truck to the fourth day. So let me get into the truck situation. Okay. 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 They assigned me a 2010 Volvo. Okay. Hold uh, up. Hold up. Right quick. Hold, me, hold yeah, up. Right quick. Let me let me let me pull you let me pull you back right quick, uh, and bring you back into okay. the orientation. How uh, did they go over? Did they go over the amount? Was it different from what the from what the recruiter told you? What do you mean? The, was, the pay? Yeah, the pay. Was it was was the pay on point or was it different than what the recruiter told you? Uh as far as the what they said the forty two cent was correct and the sliding scale, but the miles and what I was guaranteed was off. The oh, okay. recruiter was off about that. Recruiter just like military. They lie to get you in, understand uh, real talk. Most of these truck companies do the same thing. Ten four. All right. Now 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 I'm pulling you into the truck. Go ahead. What's up with the truck? What's up with the equipment? Okay. So the truck assignment day, okay, everybody gets their truck, right? They got pretty burgundy, dark brown, dark red trucks. But I had the POS of all of them, man. I was the last one to get my truck that day. Mm -hmm. uh, put me in a 2010 Volvo, uh, had a Cummins in it, um, small. I'm a big dude. It barely, it was like a sleeper cab slash day cab. That's how I felt. It was so damn small. Mm -hmm. But, uh. The, the, the bitch was deadline from when I got it. Um, let me watch my name. It was no, it was messed going. up from when I got it. Uh, it was in the shop. So I'm walking around the yard, dog, with the keys, trying to find this truck. Come to find out the shit over there in the shop got half the side tore apart. They up there working on the truck. So that was a bad side right there. Okay, okay. So how? <laughs> so, so they're how, working on the truck. Yeah, go ahead. So how long <laughs> how, how long from, from that point they was working on the truck until you actually got it and get it on the road? The next day, I got it to the next day. The truck was half-ass operational, still had engine light on. But uh, so, peep this out though. They give me a truck, no mattress in it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm, uh, it was clean for the most part. So I give them that. It wasn't trashy inside or whatever. But no mattress. Had to wait on them to give me a mattress. Then my dispatcher wanted me to take a load immediately. That paper place right outside of Kentucky, right there. Yeah. They wanted me to take the load. I said, whoa. I ain't even checked over this truck yet. No, I'm not taking no load. Okay. Oh, you ain't ready to go? I said, no, let me go Monday. Let me let me look over the truck Sunday and let me draw. Okay, I guess we'll do that. Okay. You guess. Anyway, so I'm going over the truck. I see all kind of stuff. I already know wrong with it, but I'm letting them know. So they was like, well, can you take this one load and we'll get you back to the shop? It was going to Georgia, so they wanted me to take that load, and then they'll take me to the Ellenwood Terminal in Georgia. Okay. I'm like, all right. I ain't even make it to the damn shipper, man. The truck broke down, man, already, man. It shut off on me. Def system wouldn't regen right. Uh, and mind you, now, this truck had like 700, almost 800,000 miles on it. Wow. Uh, it was it was basically do, through booking. 
that's what I call it through booking. So wow. Eight, I finally make it to Georgia. Uh, like, oh, go ahead. What, what was yeah, the, they what put was me the in, a, in a, a, a million mile truck. What was the year? 2010. A 2010. 2010. And what year? What year was this at the time you was coming into uh, Super 16. Super? This was 2016. So this is I a got six, my CDL in 15. Yeah. So this is a six year truck that they still got on the road. I mean, a six year truck, 800 thousand miles that they still got on the road. At That's that how time, this company was. Like I said, you want to call them out? We calling them out. Yeah. Man, all right. So, what was the what was the amenities in the truck? What what did the truck come with? You say they didn't come with a mattress, but what what did it? What was the amenities, if any? Oh, nothing. You can't even. It doesn't come with no inverter. I had to buy a power cooler that kept shorting out my damn twelve volt. So yeah, it don't come with nothing. Nothing. Mm. Mm. They give you no kind of driver comfort. You a brand so you a brand new truck. You you a brand new truck driver, fresh out of school. And they they and they already got you in a raggedy ass truck. What did did the recruiter tell you in the beginning that the trucks was oh, was was no, on point? No, it's supposed to be a decent. It said a late model. It didn't say brand new, but you look on their website, well, it's gone now because J and R got them. But it was supposed to be a late model, either Freightliner or maybe an international. And it was phasing in KWs, but mostly. Freightliner International and in, in some Volvo. But you got a you, yeah, you got a piece that was, of shit. It, it Volvo. was a late model, all right. You, yeah, it was late, all right. You, yeah. <laughs> you got a piece of shit Volvo, man. All right, so yeah, so POS. Your, yep. So your mm-hmm. so your experience with uh, your experience with the truck wasn't all gravy. So you get it to the shop. Did they give you another truck to pick from, or they just or they just kept you in that? One? Oh, let me get into this truck real quick. So I almost died in this truck. Let's get to this. So. This truck was leaking exhaust in the truck. I'm sleepy, thinking something wrong with me, man. I kept not making my load on time because I couldn't wake up on time. I couldn't find out carbon monoxide. Fumes were leaking into the truck because the, the turbo, the def system was jacked up. What? It was leaking fumes. I would almost die, y'all, in this truck. I cannot make this up. I'm serious. Okay, so so we're we're at Ellenwood now. So you, you tell them all these situations. They had to yeah. give you another truck. They had the truck there for a week. I'm sitting there on breakdown pay. They actually put me in a hotel. First, I was at the terminal for two days. Then they put me in a hotel. So finally, uh, another guy called me, not even my, my dispatcher manager. He was like, this is the deal we got for you. We're sorry. Your, your truck is basically out of service. It needs a whole new engine model, whatever. It needs a whole new truck. We're going to let you go recover a truck. And if you feel like it's decent enough, you can have that truck. So it was a 2015 Freightliner automatic DD6. 15 motor, whatever, whatever. That's what they wanted me to go recover. Why? You're at Ellenwood. Five, two, they six, did... one, one, one. I still remember my truck number. Yeah, go ahead. You're at Ellenwood. They didn't have no trucks that you can get in at Ellenwood? No. No, they did not. They didn't have shit on that yard. Excuse my language, y'all. They didn't have nothing on that yard. No. So you had to go and recover a truck that somebody else left, pretty much. Yes. And, and this dude almost died in this truck. Truck was sitting in his yard. Wife said, yeah, we're sorry. Please take the key. My husband's so sick. He can't drive, man. I didn't want to be in that truck like I'm in. I had gloves on and stuff. It looked like he puked in the truck. Not to gross y'all out. It was nasty, man. So I took it to a detail shop. Uh, I, mind you, I went to go recover this truck from Georgia somewhere in Tennessee. They rented me a, a Ford F-150 from Enterprise. And I went and found this truck. This is all on my YouTube channel, by the way. KB Smooth Trucker 78. I got like 500 some video. There but go back go. to where it says Super Service. And it, I, I documented all of this. So, Man. but uh, anyway, uh, I'll go to go recover this truck. Yeah, it was towed up from the flow up. Uh, but they went and detailed it for me. Super Service paid for all that. So now I'm in a decent Ur truck, but that truck had issues too. All right. So yeah. this does. Uh, so, My first so, automatic 12 so feet. This- Oh, go ahead. So, so this this uh this this first first couple of weeks with this company is not it's not turning out to be a good fit. It's not oh, turning... first month it was a month. It took me a month to get to this new truck. Yeah. Oh, it took you a month. Oh, okay. So it took you a month to get to this new. De- so the detention pay. Let's let's uh let's let's talk about that a little bit since you since they put you on detention uh not detention pay but uh breakdown pay. What was the, what was the breakdown pay, the layover pay, and the detention pay for the company? Basically, that whole time they had me sitting almost two weeks, bro. I basically got like twenty three dollars a day, uh, plus the, for, they paid for the hotel. For, so if you throw that in, for but, wait, oh, for, go ahead. wait for breakdown pay, they gave you how much? It was like they added up to like twenty three dollars a day, right under thirty dollars, something like that. Wait, 
Hold up. They didn't pay nothing, bro. They hold didn't up. pay shit. Hold I'm up. just being real. Hold up. <laughs> $23 a day for breakdown pay? And you was in a, you know, I, the hotel is irrelevant right now. Your paycheck, $23 <laughs> a day? I made $200, bro. Like, $200 yeah, like, yeah, a week? Like couple, yeah. Man, average <laughs> average breakdown pay is at least fifty dollars, seventy five at the Not most. Not for that company, it wasn't. I mean, you know, J and R Swoogle paid me seventy five for breakdown pay, and I wasn't broken down that many, you know, as much. But I got bro, mm-hmm. twenty three dollars though. I cannot make this up. I still got super service pay settlements and stuff, bro. I'm not making this up. I, y'all think I'm lying, y'all? Look him up. That's why they're not even in service no more since J&R bought him out. But anyway, yeah, go ahead. All right, so $23, man. That's that's crazy. I'm still, uh, man, $23. That, bro, and, and you, you manage all the way up, uh, you know, for I humble myself, man. I had to lock up, man. I should have been bounced. But I was trying to get my first year in trucking, man. I didn't want to keep switching jobs, man. Okay, that's what's up. Okay. All right, so trucks fucked up, pays fucked up. Uh, what was your experience with the uh, with the dispatcher after you finally get a truck and you're driving? So, what's your experience with the company afterwards? I went through three dispatchers. My last one, Preston. I put his name. I ain't gonna say his last name, but we was actually cool. We was Facebook buddies, man. Until it went down when I had to leave the company. So we'll 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 get to that in a little bit. But at, at first it was cool. I was running pretty good. I was taking paper rolls. Uh, they had a couple of accounts, Lowe's, Whirlpool. Then they picked me on this UPS hot freight. It was during the holiday time, uh, the December of 2016 when the holiday was popping. Mm-hmm. They picked me on UPS and FedEx, Amazon hot loads, they call it. Basically, you can't stop the truck. They call you every 30 minutes. That's what it right, seemed like. Right. It was some, but, but I ran that sucker. I used to run that bitch from Georgia all the way to Michigan because, you know, our main terminal, where their main terminal was Grand Rapids, Michigan. Mm-hmm. So I used to run that sucker, UPS hub to hub. And I made decent money off there. I was getting, like, average maybe 22, 2,800 miles a week. Then, during the hot time, after that, bro, it fell to, like, 17, barely 1,500 miles a week. Mm-hmm. It was some ridiculous dumb stuff, man. It was getting to the point where I was making no, even driving the truck, four five hundred a week, man. I could work at Walmart and make more than that, bro. Man, they, <laughs> man, it, 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 it looks like it's getting real bad for for a driver out there, y'all. I mean, you know, we we talking about super service that was brought out by J and R Swoogle. Now, this is all before. Uh, J and R before yeah. the merger. So yeah. you know we're we're pretty much exposing a company that's no longer well. At least the super service name is no longer in existence. It's now it's now J and R Even though you still see them pulling some of super service trailers, but it's all J and R But this young man right here is talking about his experience when it was just super service back in the day. Uh, what about what about pet and rider policies, man? Did did they have that? Oh, it was no rider at all. Pet, you had to pay like a hundred dollars a month or something like that. But you couldn't handle rider. I couldn't have a company driver. Now I don't know about the lease purchase guys, but me, they said no rider at all. You couldn't have no rider, so I couldn't bring my fi- uh, fiance, a wife, or nothing like that. In there. Oh, okay, okay. Now, now as far or even as- girlfriend, you couldn't bring nobody else. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I got you. So as far as the pay goes, you got paid what every week or every other week or or what? No, it was weekly. It was weekly. Okay, and direct. You had to turn all your stuff in. I think by Wednesday or Thursday, I believe, and you got paid on Friday. Direct deposit. Yeah, yeah. Was uh, or if you didn't have a bank account, they'll put you on a card and they'll send it to you on some kind of debit card they give you. Yeah. So working at Super Service, man, what was what was the most stressful part about uh, about driving for them, man? I mean, I know you list, I know you said about you know everything so far, but when when did it when did the turn? Well, of course, the turn was coming. So. You say you went through the, I, 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 you went through three different uh, uh, dispatchers. Was that the stressful part for you, right there, going going through that many dispatchers? No, it was it was it was actually Roger and them. I don't know if they was over there in JNR, but Roger, the safety guy, we used the bunhead. See, this also too. Get back to my YouTube. Mm-hmm. So I started doing social media because I was watching the old heads like Sinister, Highway Diva, 
uh, even Chuck Brown and Lowe, all them back in the day, right? So I mm-hmm. figured I'd do a YouTube channel about this company. Come to find out, they made me just like you, a poster boy, man. I was promoting. I got 25 drivers to come to Super Surf. Cool. Some of these guys y'all know, like B. Gizzle, uh, a couple of YouTubers, they smaller guys. Mm-hmm. They came to Super Surf because of me, because okay. of my channel. They were showing my videos in orientation, bro. What? They had me. So it kind of fell south because I started not bashing them, but I started putting the real out there because I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They was like, you can't do no more videos about us. Uh, uh, if you do that, we'll fire you. And, and this and that. They actually put me on safety hold because they had me being a trailer guy one time, lockout man. They uh-huh. had me going around taking nothing but trailers, broke trailers through shops, not making no money. I'm like, I ain't no fucking, excuse me, uh, recovery guy. I'm supposed to be taking loads. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, wow. So I, so I exposed them. I did, it, I, did, I did a video. Matter of fact, I think they got YouTube to take it down. I don't even think it's on my channel no more because I exposed them for having me do this shit. It was dead of the winter, had me broke down with a truck with no heat freezing and i was cussing and everything and they told me to take the video down because i said something bad about super service wow <laughs> man you see sometimes you know sometimes companies sometimes companies want to be want to you know want to be funny like that you know they if you're talking good about yeah, when the you're, co- talking good if you're talking about good them and you bring a driver to them it's right. cool. yeah go ahead they want yep. you know they, they they'll promote you they'll be like yeah yada 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 but as soon as you say something bad about that company then that's when Oh, it's a problem. Oh, we don't want you doing videos mm-hmm. in our trucks. Or we don't want our, our logos or our trucks in the video. Or yada, yada, yada. So KB Smooth, man. Uh, so, yo, th- th- when when did this when did this all come to all, all come came to a head and you decide to uh to to bail okay, out? Okay, the final straw. Oh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, that's what I want to know. When when did it all okay. came? Yeah, it came to a head. Okay, when it came to a head, I was on I eighty in Pennsylvania, Snowshoe Mountain, y'all. It, my this truck they gave me was breaking down. I kept telling them they wouldn't want. They were so cheap they didn't want to fix it. It was supposed to go to Altoona Freightliner on this load I was on. The, the 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 damn truck caught off on a hill, on that hill. Y'all been up there I eighty? It started rolling back. Was scared the fuck out of me. I'm still a rookie driver, only over my first year now. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe a year and a few months. It was like January of 2017 because I mm-hmm. quit after that, yeah. So, yeah, the truck rolled back, almost crashed, everything, man. I had an anxiety attack. They actually had to call the ambulance and, and all that jazz. So that was basically when that happened, and they let me sit up at that TNA up there off of I-80 for five days, fam, five days. Mm-hmm. They was like, well, we want to make sure you're healthy enough to drive the truck. And I told them I'm fine. The doctor cleared me. Oh, well, now we need to figure out what we're going to do with you. Because basically, I, I basically uh, uh, had a insurance claim, workers' comp, whatever. They mm-hmm. was like, now we're going to fire you because you fucked up. Which mm-hmm. they did it. I didn't do it. It was just, Basically, what broke the, the camo lockout man was the equipment. It was more frustrating with their equipment and the pay of more than anything with Super Sur. I was in so much raggedy. Oh, let me talk about their trailers real quick. Go ahead. The door almost fell off one time on them GTS trailers. I went out there to get a trailer, opened the door, and the whole damn thing fell off. No, I cannot make this up, fam. Mm. Them trailers used to have old crank handles like the old school where it had a crank on the crank handle. I don't know if you ever dealt with that lockout man. Mm-hmm. So it was just equipment issues and, and the pay really got on my nerves with that company you understand okay, what I'm saying? okay. now let but, me ask you this did you yeah. now did you did you lead the company after the merger or was it still before the merger right before the merger right before the merger i left because they left me up there and basically another guy recruited me as i was broke down waiting on them to figure out what they're gonna do with me he basically i've been took a drug test and everything and was hired on to another company before they knew what they was gonna do with me when that truck broke down the last time okay okay so did they so doing so you know like during the merger did 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 Anybody from the company came in and said, hey, you know, J&R Shrugal acquired us and, you know, what's yeah, it going to be? Yeah, Stanley still calls me to this day. So they, so they told you that J&R Shrugal acquired you guys. Was there going to be any difference? You know, let's just say if you were still with the company, did, did they say they were still going to rock up, uh, rock out up under the moniker of Super Service or was it going to go full J&R Shrugal? They told me I would be fully J&R Sugar. Basically, they would look at my record with Super Sur, but it don't matter. They said I'd be in a brand new 680, whatever color I wanted. Mm-hmm. I can do either reefer or drive van division. 
and it would be a whole new regime. But I didn't want none of the parts of it because I knew some of the same people from Super Service was still in the, in, in safety, still in that company. I didn't want no parts of it. You feel me? Okay, okay, okay. That's what's so, up, man. So Super Service. So if Super Service was still in existence, you wouldn't you wouldn't recommend Super Service. Yeah. No, not at all. If that was the last company on earth, I wouldn't recommend I go there. All right, so let me. I ask would you. tell people to go to Jailhouse Express before Super Serve, meaning yeah. Western Express. <laughs> you say Jailhouse Express. <laughs> so uh, now that so now that Super Service has been brought out by J and R Schwugel, uh, what have you heard about uh, about J and R Schwugel? Uh, if anything, have have they reached out? Have, I, I know people that are still over there. Some of the drivers that I got for Super Service, like I was telling you, B Gizzle was over there. I think mm-hmm. he's at JB Hunt now, but I know another guy. I ain't going to put his name out here, but he's been faithful to him. He's over there now. Mm-hmm. Their reefer division is on point. Their drive van, not so good from what I hear. Yeah. So, you know, he said he's making money. He goes home every other week. So mm-hmm. I hear good things, but it just I just can't fool with it, lockout man. I, what I do in my life, I don't go backwards, man. I don't burn bridges, but I don't go backwards. That's you feel me? Up, I feel man. like if I go to J and R, that's like a step backwards. Like I'm going right back to Super Service. Okay, even even if they you know all, even, even if they offer you a better pay than what Super Service did, they tried that, but they would not they, they can't match my pay now with my experience now. Almost five years in the game, no. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what's like up. I was telling you, lockout man. The recruiter still calls me to this day, Sandy. She still calls me. Hey, Jan, I'm sugar. Matter of fact, they just sent me an email yesterday, bro, talking about we're offering up to 60 cent a mile. And, uh, yeah, I'm hey, on operator now. I will not go back hold, to the company, Hold up, man. bro. Yeah. Hold, hold up. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, bro. Wait. Wait a minute. J, J and R. Swoogle. We, we talking J and R. Swoogle. Trucking. Yeah. Up, in, up in Minnesota. You want me to pull up the email? Oh, well, up, in, up, in, up in Minnesota is, is, is offering 60 Sent a ma- well, you know what? What's the base? What was the base pay? What was the base hold on, bro. pay? I'm gonna pull up the email right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, pull up the email right now. Okay, yeah, I, I cannot make this up, man. I, yeah, y'all yeah, can fact check this. Hold on, she just sent me an email. Hold on, uh, dark transit. Hold on, I wish we did this while I wasn't driving, bro. But uh, I'm being safe, drivers. I got a headset on. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> Uh, where is it at? Yeah, here. Welcome to JNR Sugar. We see that you formerly used to work for Super Service. We're still offering exciting new opportunities. Mm-hmm. Uh, come drive for us. We are offering up to 60 cent a mile. Don't say base bay. It just say up to 60 cent a mile. We have reefer and drive van regional and dedicated accounts. Please welcome to join us at, uh, at Super. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. All right, all that noise in the background. Sorry about that. You know, I got people here chilling while I'm editing and all like that. But I just want to come on right quick and let you guys know what's about to happen. <laughs> okay, so right when, uh, right when KB told me that J and R Schwugel was offering sixty cent a mile for drivers that's coming in, I was kind of shocked you know, at the amount that they was offering. So I decided to give JNR Shugo a call. Now, uh, I wanted to talk to Katie, but come to find out, uh, Katie got transferred if she's still with the company. I'm not sure. But the young lady that answered the phone says, you know, Katie is not with the company. So I was like, cool, cool. I was like, uh, well, I wanted to ask a question about uh, how much was, you know, how much that they were starting off, you know, CPM for drivers. And in the midst of all that, she asked me if, you know, she asked me what my name was. And I said I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to say my name and all like that because obviously they're going to see the video anyway because a couple of people there still follow me on social media. So they're going to see the video and who called anyway. So I didn't want to say my name. Basically what I wanted to know was the 60 cent a mile. Was it 60 cent a mile out the door or up? to like they say 60 cent a mile i wanted to know what was the base pay so in the midst of all of that the young lady sort of kind of sort of threw me under the bus (laughs) she was like yo is this uh is this LaShawn? 
I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you're not a rehire no more. And I'm like, okay. I mean, you know, I wasn't calling back to get rehired anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Move forward, not backwards, okay? Take my advice. Once you leave a company for, you know, maybe a better company, don't come back. It never works if you go back. You know what I'm saying? If you go backwards. So just just keep moving forward. But I just wanted to let you guys know pretense to what's about to happen in the ne in the next segment of this call. Yeah, we all right, we back? You back? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. Hold on for a minute, man. Hold on. Up to 60 cent a mile. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Give me a second. Hold on. I I got to ask. Hold on right quick. Three, five, nine, 29, 23. Hold on right quick. You know what? Yeah, hold on. My number still might show up too. Hold on. Oops, here we go. Thank you for calling J&R Shingle Trucking. Please listen carefully to the following options as our menu has changed. At any time, you can dial the four-digit extension of the person you would like to reach. I wish I remember her. For extension. driver recruiting, press 9. There we go. For customer service. How you doing? Is Katie still there? Uh, the recruiter? She's still there? Um, she no longer works in recruiting. Can I help you with anything? Uh, well, okay. So I'm I'm curious. I, I'm I'm curious. I just, I just have a question, right quick. I just received an email. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just received an email. Uh, uh some time ago. That it says that you guys are offering up to sixty cent a mile. Can I ask what is the base pay? What is the starting base pay well, for a five-year driver? Um, well, it all depends. I'd have to look into it. Sorry, what was your name? Uh, I don't want to give. I, I, I'm just. I, I'm just asking. Oh, is this the Sean? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And if you already knew my name, because my name comes up. When, you know, in the caller ID, you know what I'm saying? You use, if you, whatever phone number that you have used in the past, your name is associated with that phone number when you be calling these recruiters. So if you call a recruiter this year with said phone number and you call them and you called them back in the past with said phone number, then your name still will pop up on on their board as you know as associated with that number so if you already knew my name and who i was then why the hell you asked me for my name <laughs> if you already knew oh is this LaShawn? yeah it is you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna hide it <laughs> you know but i'm just saying i'm i was only just calling for I was only just calling just to ask a question, and that was it. Thank you. Please come again. So I'm just asking. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, unfortunately, they're not looking to rehire you right now, but we range anywhere from 47 to 52. Well, yeah, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't looking to be rehired, but I'm just saying I got the email. So, <laughs> so I got the email. But what is the base pay? Like I said, it ranges anywhere from um, 47 to 52 with incentives, but the base pay can vary. Okay, so for a five-year driver, what is what would be the, the, the base pay to come in for a five-year driver? Are you talking about all over the road or some local? No, or? All, all over the road. All 100%, all, all over the road, five-year driver, okay. how much I'm coming in with. <laughs> About 44 cents per mile. 44 cents per mile. Okay. That's all I need to yep. know because, like I said, I still got people, I still got people asking, you know, I got the email 
And I got people calling mm-hmm. me like, you know, since I worked there, I was like, well, let me go in and call them up and just just verify that. That's all. So, but uh, thank you, though. Yep. So there is some incentives. Okay. Uh, thank all right. you. Thank you. Yep. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah, she she really didn't need to go into all that shit. <laughs> no, she ain't had to pitch your stuff out there like yeah, that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you know, even though I'm going to cut but all that. But you see how recruiters are, though? Yeah. The ones you was trying to get a hold of don't work there no more, and then it's, she lying her ass off. Exactly. I can, I can, I, I can uh, screenshot you the email or forward it to you like I'm in, mean, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm just curious to know, like, you know, like the email is like 60 cent a mile, you know, and that's – and and when you get into orientation, it's forty four cent a mile. It's forty three cent a mile. See how they it's get four, you? That's how they get you. They trap you like the yeah. And it's like <laughs> it's it's like you coming in like yo you. I'm like Trucker Brown in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? You telling me you telling exactly. me thirty you telling me thirty five dollars that I'm going to make, and then all of a sudden I get up in here and you're going to tell me it's nine fifty. 950? She said, I'll be honest with you, the recruiters are contracted. They don't work for us and they'll tell you anything to get you here. That's what he told me. What? Are you crazy? Are you so you're telling me that he lied to me? Like and he been a and he been an over the road truck driver for how many years? Eight years? For five years with a clean record. With a clean yeah. record. Oh, you've been eight years, but I've been five. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I and when I driver, and I see drivers out here. Their jobs hiring like performance food groups. If you want to do like RLC TV and them do food service, they're paying sixty five cent, and that's no joke. See, but you got to unload trailers though. But see you that, see what I'm saying? See, that's like, why I, you, that's that's yeah. why I don't like using. That's why I don't like you know. Well, I ain't gonna put it out there. But anyway, anyway, you know, it, it wasn't like that I was calling to come back for rehire anyway. I'm just calling back. Because, no, you like wasn't, said, though, but it's funny how she called you out. She must have known your number. Yeah, yeah that's ahead. what I'm saying. The number the number showed up like, yo, we're not we're not looking to rehire you, Lockout Man. I'm not yeah, looking to. Yeah, she put your shit on blast. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, go ahead. I'm not looking to come back. <laughs> I'm, what I'm, exactly. looking, I'm not looking to come back. I'm just calling to ask. I'm I'm calling because I still got I still got people, subscribers, viewers that's that's looking at my old shit and still you know still thinking like this man right here say yo lockout you still work for J and R Swoogle? No, I don't work for them. Mm-hmm. No, I don't work for Me them. Me too, bro. They still ask me about Super Sunday. First of all, that company ain't even existing no more. I said, do y'all look at my new videos? Like, yeah, I'm with Dart Trans. I've been with Dart for two years. Like, right. Yeah, so I'm I'm good where I'm, I'm I'm good where I'm at. I I don't have no intentions on 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 coming back to uh on coming back to uh J and R Schwugel. I mean, I already know that. It's crazy. Fl- she put your shit out there. Yeah. She was like, no, Lashawn, you you're not horrible. Yeah. Like, what? I already, already, already know that I don't know. I already know that I left with uh, some bad taste in a few people's mouths. Don, yeah, Don, because you probably spoke, Don your, spoke in your a, turn. Yeah, Don, Don up in uh, Don up in uh, safety. Don, okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I still appreciate what we, you know, what what you did for me and all like that. But you, uh. You know what I'm saying? The the I don't think the fleet manager is still there. Haley, I don't think she's still there. I'm gonna put her out there because that was yeah. she was the reason why I fucking left. You know what I'm mm, saying? Mm. She was the reason why wow. why I left. You know, Haley, my yeah. my experience my 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 experience with Matt throughout the whole beginning of I mean but throughout the whole beginning. My experience with Matt, my experience with Katie, all of them, great, no problem. Me and Katie, Katie and me made money. You know what I'm saying? But uh, after, exactly. af- after, after Matt left and I got the new fleet manager and it just, it just sort of went downhill. You know, I had, my, I had my ups and downs with the company. You know what I'm saying? But as I said before, and there's no I never come out here. Yeah, go ahead. I mm-hmm. never, I never down talked it. I, even afterwards, I still never down talked to the company. I always say, hey, 
you know, uh, JNR Swoogle is still a, still a good place to go to. You know what I'm saying? I still got people that drive exactly. for JNR Swoogle. But for this female, Man, for, this, you both, bro. For, this, mm -hmm. for this female, for this quote unquote recruiter to the, the try to throw me up <laughs> under the bus, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you know, I, I'm not calling to come back. I'm calling to ask a question. She was like, well, what's your name? I don't know. You want was it. looking out for them. You were right. helping her out. You were trying to ask a question for another driver, right. possibly looking in the J.R. Sugar. Now, now, what you just said, I put a bad taste in a future driver mouth. Now, you don't have felt, lady. Right. You don't even know that. Right. We got you on blast. Right. <laughs> so, you know, that's what I'm saying. You know, you're trying to put me up, but like, oh, well, you're not, you're, you're not uh, rehirable. Okay. Cool. Well, we, no, I, what she said, she, I, or Zach words is, we ain't not looking to rehire you right now, Lazar. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's crazy. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm I'm not looking to come back either. What? Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm not looking to come back. <laughs> I'm good where I'm yeah, at. You man, think that, I'm gonna, that was, you think I'm gonna a good come interview, back? man. I'm glad you, we did this today. You, yeah, go you, ahead. You think I'm gonna come you think I'm gonna come back for forty for what? What'd she say? 42, 40, 44? 42 to 40, fifty something cent. I yeah, think forty four cent, but 40, they'll probably start you out at forty four cent. Yeah, forty four. Yeah. You think Who I'm the gonna, hell gonna work for that when you got experience now? You think I'm gonna come back for forty four cent a mile? Are you kidding? Five years in the game? Clean driving, I mean, clean MVR? Come on now. What is wrong with you? You should be ashamed of yourself. No, no, I, I don't have no, I'm talking MVR. No now, offense, if I was ever to go back company lockout, mm -hmm. I would not go on the 50 cent. I don't care where I go. I got enough experience and a good record that I would not go company on the 50 cent. I don't care who you are. I feel you. That's I feel just me. You. If I had to go That's back what, company. I, I'm, 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 going yeah. by, I'm going by MVR. I'm not going by no bullshit DAC because, you know, you got, you know, people, company oh. could put whatever they want on uh -huh. their DAC report. We're going to get on that in a second. Yeah. They, company could put whatever they want. Yeah, so I, I don't go by, I don't go by DAC. I go by my driver's license. No points. Back. No citations, no nothing no on my accidents right, yeah, on my driver's license. My license is clean. Now, as far as the DAT report, well, there probably might be a little bit of issues on that. You know, I'm I'm not I'm I'm not the best driver out here. You know what I'm saying? I had my nobody I had my, is. I had Everybody my, had Nick's. Yep. Right. I had my faults up at JNR Schwugel. You know what I'm saying? Go back and watch uh go back and watch moving day video. When I when I went from that white truck that I messed up in the front and I got into an orange truck. I had my issues. But uh your DAC report, mm -hmm. man. What what did Super Surface put on your DAC report? Okay, so back to the DAC. Okay, I got that recover truck, right? Pretty truck, too, man. I'll send you pictures, or you can go back on my channel and look at it. Mm -hmm. It was a Freightliner, man. Beautiful truck, right? I was turning in a TA. You know how tight they are anyway with the angle parking. It was late in West Virginia, matter of fact. Uh, not the Nitro one, but it was the other one up in West Virginia. I know exactly where it was because they did put the location on my deck. So I was turning tight. It was behind the garage, and I cracked the cab extender. Mm -hmm. But me being a good driver only nine months in, I figured, let me tell Super Service what happened. You okay. know, reported it was a good driver, right? So they was like, oh, was it an incident? Did the police come out? I said, no, no and no. Okay, that's fine, driver. We'll just fix it. Oh, it's okay. It's not even bad. Sent them pictures of claims and everything, right? Now, nothing was said the whole time I worked for the company. I go to leave. All of a sudden, I got a jackknife. Uh, a driver fucked it. Excuse me. Jack the knife to detract the damage and this, that, and the third. So I tried to fight with High Right. High Right told me it's not even worth fighting now because it falls off my record now. This June, July coming up, thank God. Okay. But so that that's that would hinder my career. They tried to hinder me sensibly because Roger put that on there. That was a safety man at Super Service at the time. Okay. He put that on there, him and Master Sergeant, the dude that went to uh work for Navajo. Uh, but uh. They was the safety guys that put that bullshit on my racket because of what we talked about earlier, like, oh, man, how I was the poster boy for him, mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden I'm talking bad, which I didn't never talk bad. I was just putting out there the truth. That's how I, I never was doing. Down them. I told people, if you want to come, it's a decent starter company. I never said F Super Service is the worst company right. like some of these right. YouTubers do. Right. I did never bash them, but I put the truth out there, and that's what they didn't like because I put the truth out there. Right. Even, even after... Even 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 after, you know, for me, even after with J and R I still 
I, you know, I made I made that one video, that one that one uh, that one reply video that Mark from uh, Trucking Answers did. He did what you need to know about J and R Shrugal leasing. I did a I did a response a response reaction video on that because when I came in and they was offering leasing, it was a sliding scale at ninety something cent a mile. Now I don't know how I don't mm-hmm. know about you, but ninety cent uh, ninety something cent a mile as a lease driver, you know, it's uh, whack. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I don't know about you, but yeah, that's they the start only. They you off over here a minimum dollar fifteen dollar twenty on your mileage program leasing over here where I'm at. Okay, so. so that's that's what I said about it. I think I I think I called up Katie one last time. And I asked Katie to, I said, hey, Katie, I said, would you like to do another? Uh, that's when I was still doing the make the call videos. I was like, yo, uh, you know, I said, this YouTuber put some information out that's on, that was on the, uh, what I tell you? I said, I, that was on the, uh, on your website as far as leasing goes. And I figured that I would get a chance to talk to you. So you could set, you know, set the record straight. So she told me, you know, she said, well, I'm going to have to ask yada, yada, yada. I was like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, she came back and she was like, nah, you know, upper management says it's not a good idea for me to talk to you and uh, and for you to stop talking about J.R. Oh, upper management now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And for you to stop talking about J.R. Schwugel. And I was like, well. At the time, I would, you know, only only time JNR Shrugal came out of my mouth, it was it was on some good shit. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't it wasn't me bashing. No, because I've been following you for a while. I know you right. were talking about JNR. That's why. I, right. Uh, I don't know if you know your comments back in the day. I comment on your video. I said I used to work for the older company, which mm-hmm. we're talking about now. Yeah, go ahead. That's why mm-hmm. I'm saying that it was <laughs> on some good shit. You know, it wasn't about it wasn't about I, everything that I said about JNR Shrugal when I worked there on my videos was facts i it it was all my experience you know what i'm saying yeah i, I ain't say nothing about when i brought hey, driver, the, you got your mic on you got the right lane if you want it buddy oh okay yeah, info. uh Sorry I, about that lock on, man. I, I ain't say nothing about the one lady driver that i brought in she called me she called me back the next day over here talking about how fucked up everything was and all like that i ain't say nothing about <laughs> i ain't say nothing about oh. that she didn't last Hey, LaShawn, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. You ever had people call, like, say they say they uh go to your company because of your video. Mm-hmm. Have you ever got a rebuttal? Man, why you send me over here? I never sent I, nobody. I get that all the time still I to got, this day. I got I it. said, look at my video. Did I say go to this company? I, no, I said it might work for you or it I might get, not. You I can give it, it a try. I, I get that it. shit all the time. Yeah, go I ahead. got it. Yeah. I, I got it, bro. <laughs> I got it. I got all of that. Even after they came on. You know what I'm saying? The one chick, she only lasted for uh, she only lasted for forty days. I ain't even get my full. My, I I, ain't, I only got like I got the first five hundred and the second five hundred. She didn't last. She didn't last the full ninety days. She left. She left mm-hmm. because because, like I said, the experience with her and whatever it was wasn't good. You know, it's, it's oh, you know, and it let wasn't me tell you good. about super service and the money, bro. I only got paid for one driver and barely got that. I only got one five hundred for one driver. They yeah. never gave me my bonus money. Yeah, and I've got twenty drivers over there. Yeah, let me let me tell you about the let me tell you how that's broken down. Like, okay, so it's fifteen hundred it's fifteen hundred dollars per uh per driver. All right. Now don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. I made money. I do. My my W two, woo! My I, I made money, but <laughs> not everybody, not not everybody that was there. The, the I said the longest that they stayed there was forty five, so I was able to get a thousand. It was like maybe a handful that mm. I got the full fifteen hundred. But even after the even after the full fifteen hundred, they still left because they didn't like how the company was either either treating them or being treated or whatever maybe it was the equipment shit the girl left because there wasn't no fucking um no fucking cabinet covers and the and the uh mm. that's why she left 
Are you talking about the new trucks y'all got, Jan? or got the six eighties and stuff. Yeah, well, when I was there, I don't know if it's, you know, I don't know what's in there now. But when I was there, they didn't have no cabinet covers or nothing like that. And she wow. was, and the girl left because of that. And I was tripping. I was like, wait, how? Why are you leaving because of cabinet covers? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I was scratching my head on exactly. that. Uh -huh. I even had I even had HR to call me like, yo, lockout. Um, the girl that you, you know, that you refer to us, we can't get a hold of her. I was like, what do you mean? Well, she still got our truck. <laughs> she still got our truck. Wow. I was like, oh, okay. So I called her up. I was like, hey, how you doing? Yada, yada, yada. She was like, yeah, I left. Uh, I said, they still looking for their truck. She says, no, they truck is at the Columbus yard. What you talking about? I was like, yeah, mm. they, they said that uh, they said you still got their truck and they want their truck back or they're going to put an abandonment on your shit. She was like, no, nah, don't, don't no, nah, let me call them up. And I called them back. I was like, yeah, she said the truck is at the Columbus yard. So, yeah, I, I ain't said nothing about or how about the dude that I brought on? And he called me back about a month later called me back about a month later and say he got you know he got um he was about to get terminated but he quit because of 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 you because he covered up the 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 um the uh driver camera and all like that and the hard breaking and mm. all like that but he quit i ain't say uh -huh. nothing i ain't say nothing about that you know what i'm saying mm. even like i said before even after i left j and r swoogle even after I left JNR Swoogle, I still gave gave JNR Swoogle they 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 uh, hey, good they, they good and, name and, and, and try to get them drivers over still there. Yeah, they don't they don't appreciate that. Right. Man. ain't no loyalty. Like what's that Chris Brown song? These ain't trucker no, companies ain't loyal. loyal. They nope. ain't no loyalty, man. They only <laughs> they they only loyal to you for what you can bring to them. That's why that's why I yeah said, to make profit off of you. That's it. Yep. That's why I said for everybody, and this is and this is coming from me. Do not. Ever and I, you, I never ever get comfortable at a company where you went. Even if no, you feel, always even if, have something in your back pocket. Right. Always be looking. Yep, go ahead. Even if you feel that that company is doing good by you, yada yada yada. Like I said, I was the ambassador. I ain't had no problem. Fleet manager was on fleet. You know what I'm saying? Matt was my guy. He, I, I I I hated mm -hmm. I hated when he left. I was like, yo, bro, where you going? Can I come with you? I was like a little, exactly. I, I was like a little, I, I was like a little kid. Like, yo, can I come with you? Don't go. Don't go. Where you going? Can I come with you? That's what I was like when Matt left. After Matt left, everything, you, e everything changed. Everything changed. Mm. So, yeah, there's no, yeah, man. but even, even after I, even after I left the company, even after I left the company, and yes, I still got that little sheet that does say that I am eligible for rehire. I got that. I got that little sheet but that means. According to her, she said they ain't rehiring yeah, you right now. But yeah, yeah go ahead. I, I still got that little sheet. According to Don on there, according to Don, I am eligible for rehire if I wanted to come back. Yeah. But, I, but like exactly. I said, like I said, things happen. I wanted to go because the uh, the fleet manager, but you know things happen. So, like I said, you know not not yeah. to throw the company up under the bus like she tried to do me, but not to throw the company up under the bus. You know, like I said, J and R, if you still interested in J and R Swoogle man, and you going over there off my videos and all like that, yo, yeah, tell them like our men sent you. I don't have no problem. I don't have no problem with them. But as far as me going backwards, going back. No, no, I'm no, my time. No, my, I'm my, the same way, like I'm yeah. man. I go forward in life, not backwards. Yeah, yeah, my two years, my two years was JR Swoogle was good. I had fun. I made plenty of money. I was their ambassador. And I'm talking about all the good shit that happened to me. And this is my experience. I was their ambassador. I made money. Uh, I brought, I brought hella people over there. I, I was getting, me and Katie was getting, Three, four motherfuckers a day. A day. A day. Three. Fit, if, if they would have stayed their whole fucking turn, yo, you know how much money that is? $1,500 per mm. person? Per person? Yeah. 40, 45? Can I say one thing like 40, I'm in about that? Go ahead. I, 
Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say one thing. Even when I got drivers to come off of my channel or whatever, whatever, I never did it for the money. I did it's, it to help a driver get in his game, to exactly. get his experience. That's all I wanted to say. It wasn't about the money with exactly. me. Yes, the money did come through, but I only got half of money. Because with Super Service, theirs was 1000 You get 1000 for a driver. They say mm -hmm. after they take... What is it? Six months. The first mm -hmm. load you get five hundred. Mm -hmm. Then you get the other five hundred after they stay like six months, something mm -hmm. like that. So, but I only got it one time. I never got it for no other driver. But I didn't expect that. I just wanted drivers coming in the game to go to a company that will give them experience. I told them, oh, never stay. I even said, I said you probably want to look for another company once you get your first year. Even though I was going through all that over there, I still was bringing people in, man. You know what I'm saying? There's people on YouTube right now. They know who they are. They watch your channel. They know who they are. Mm -hmm. They went there because of me. And then I get this. KB, you I, left. You I'm over what? here. You bounced. I hold said, up. well, I had to move for me. Yeah, hold, go ahead. Hold go on, ahead. man. I got, I, I, I just got an email. <laughs> I, I just got an okay. email. Uh, uh oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's see. No, no. Let me. I got a, I got a, I got an MI. Let's see. Uh, I think his name was Mark. I want to say. Hold on. I, I, let me see. Hold on. Let me. Let me go here. Uh, is this it? I'm not. Sh I'm not sure. But I. I just. I just got an email. Hold on, right quick. Hold on. Maybe it is. I, I got so many emails, y'all. Y'all just got to bear with me. Uh, no problem. Take your time, let's, bro. Let's see. Um, all right. Well, I, I can't find it, but let me paraphrase it. So a gentleman okay. called, a gentleman uh, emailed me and said, hey, I'm thinking about going over to J&R Schwugel. What do you uh what do you what do you think about uh JNR Schwugel? And then I called him, I, I emailed him back. I said, you know, JNR Schwugel, you know, pretty good. I mean, if you uh if you're a new driver, then yeah, it'll be a pretty good starting company. And the next email he said, Yo, are you still with JNR Schwugel? I came back to him, I said, No, I'm not with JNR Schwugel. You know, I left uh I left JNR Schwugel back in 17, I think. And he emailed me back. He was like, whoa, wait. You're the reason why I was thinking about J&R Swoogle. Mm. And I was, and I was mm -hmm. like, I, you know, I was humbled by that, that I still got people that want to, that want to fuck with a company based on, based on my, my presence on YouTube or in social media that's promoting that company. Because he said, yo, I see... Back. He said, I seen your videos and you was talking about JNR Swoogle and all like that. And I was like, well, I appreciate that because, you know, I brought the real and the raw. I ain't want to, again, I don't want to be no, no, no jigaboo for a company. I ain't want to, I, I ain't want to sugarcoat. I wanted to let them know like, yo, this is what I got. This is me, what I got and all like that. If it come on over give it 90 days if it don't work for you bounce just like that just like that and for people to Thanks. still Thanks. and for people to still come over to me and over to the lockout man channel and say hey yo do you still work for jnr swoogle because i'm thinking about coming over to jnr swoogle and i tell them no they be like oh well that's the reason why i wanted to fuck with jnr swoogle because you work there so it was still me too. It gives you a, like a self gratification, like hey, y'all exactly. came because of the information that I put out, the right information, not no fake news or falsified information. I'm telling you the truth, the ups and downs, the, the good and the ugly of this company. You know what I'm saying? And and, and that's what recruiters don't do. Mm -hmm. uh, like I mean, they don't give it to it like we got. Like I got my company I'm working for right now, Dark Trans. I had a guy call me up. He said to my channel, said, "Hey, I see you got a good YouTube following." social media presence. Hey, you thought about promoting dark? I said, no. You know why? Like our men, I will never ever do what I did with Super Service and be a poster child for no other company out here. That shit, no. I said, no. I said, no offense to you and yes. dark. Y'all have been doing me good. And if I do pitch y'all in my video, like, cause I got a lease video, a three part lease series. I want to tell people about the lease program over here, mm -hmm. but that's it. But I'm not promoting y'all. I'm not going to be that poster child. And y'all have me on, 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 on orientation videos. And, and look, 
Uh, I work for a company that got pictures on the back of their trailer. Y'all ain't going to have KB Smooth picture on the back of y'all trailer. No, <laughs> hell no. No. <laughs> I don't know if you ever passed Dark Transit. Yeah, we don't want to I know in America that got a human pictures. face on yeah, the trailer. Yeah, and it's black yeah. people, too. Yeah. yeah, and it's all black. Yeah, exactly. It's all black people. God damn it, man. <laughs> So anyway, oh, I told man. him no. I politely declined. He would say no problem. I do understand it, but in the future, let me know. We can bump heads and coordinate on mm-hmm. how I can promote Dart. I said no, nah, no, nah, miss me with that. Uh-uh. But anyway, go ahead. I, I, I uh, <laughs> like I, like I said, man. I I I look. Uh, look, we we about to go ahead and uh, we about to go ahead and jump out of here right quick. But before we go, like All I right. said, the reason why I brought JNR Swoogle on is to find out. Uh, what was the 60 cent about? Because KB Smooth mentioned it in the email, uh, mentioned it in the email that it was 60 cent a mile. And I was surprised that JNR Swoogle was giving, offering 60 cent a mile. So what I did was to call the recruiter. I was hoping to talk to Katie. Um, I was hoping to talk to her to, you know, to clarify that 60 cent a mile. Uh, unfortunately you guys heard, you know, what, what the transparent, I mean, transparent, but, uh, that trans that transpired between me and the, uh, and the, uh, young lady recruiter. Um, but we, like I said, we come to find out that the base pay for a five year driver is 44 cent a mile. Everything else is incentives. That's what you guys got to find out. When you talk to any of the recruiters, that's why that's why you guys came to me and say, yo, let's let's talk to the drivers, not the recruiters, because the recruiters is there to put me in the seat. The driver that been there even I mean, it's not to say that we're disgruntled drivers. We're you know, we're not. We just letting you know our experience with the company. My experience with exactly. J.R. Swoogle, his experience with super service. Now I didn't I, I didn't want to include J and R Swoogle. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't want to talk about but since she did what she did, kind of kind of happened, yeah. Kind of happened. So <laughs> still give you guys more of of a decision making process when you guys go to make your decision on what trucking company that you guys want to get with. And like KB Smooth, me, I don't promote no other company. Like the current company I'm with. Don't promote them. And I told you guys in the beginning, y'all, you ask me all the time, like, yo, I mean, yo, who you drive for? Who you drive for? No, no. It's a local company out of Ohio, and they only hire in Ohio. That's 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 the two things. They only hire in Ohio, and they're out of Ohio. That's it. If you're in Texas, you won't get hired on. Plus, you can't, they, they don't allow you to take the trucks home anyway. So, Hey, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't promote I, I don't promote no companies and I'm not comfortable with no companies. Brother man, brother man, brother man's not getting comfortable with no companies at all. Don't get comfortable exactly. with no nope. don't get comfortable with any company. Drive that company like it's the first day you driving them. And if you do that, you'll be all right. Because once you get comfortable with a company, shit happens. Trust me, I know this from experience. Amen. You me get too. you yeah. you shit happens. Accidents happens. Things happen. You know what I'm saying? And when that shit happens, all that good shit that that you were saying about that company goes right out the fucking mm-hmm. window because the company don't want to fuck with you no more. Period. No, they will shit on you in a heartbeat. Yep. Period. <laughs> you you be that golden child at first, but when shit happens, then your name is rushed all through the fucking mud. Not like that. They don't want to be bothered with you no more when shit happens. So if you feel that that company doing good by you, keep it to yourself and don't get comfortable with any comfortable. I mean, any company, period. Don't come on social. Yeah. Don't come and on. It, it, don't come on social media. Hold on, hold on. Don't come on social media saying, "Oh well, you know, uh, uh, dark transportation is good. Uh, uh, U.S. Express treat me well. Uh, uh, Snyder is the best thing since sliced bread." Because I guarantee you, 
as soon as something happens, whether you get into an accident, whether you get into a fallout, whether you get into whatever, I guarantee you, when that motherfucking safety calls you, it's a rap. It's a back, fucking it's back. a fucking rap. You could be the best motherfucker at that company. You could you man, listen. You could be the best motherfucker at that company. You could be the best driver. You can you can you can you can be the golden boy for that company. But as soon as motherfucking safety calls you for any fucking reason, it's a rap. It's a rap. Period. Period. So yeah. don't get don't get comfortable with any company. Go ahead, KB. What, what's your what's your part in ways, man? Uh, I just want to say last words is drivers do your own research. We can give you all the knowledge and all the ins and outs of a company, but I just want to say do your own footwork. Look at what's best for you. Look at their CSA score. Look at their vehicle equipment. Look at driver turnover ratio. Don't just go off of not just me or lockout man or whoever your favorite YouTuber you watch or whatever. Do your own footwork out here. Don't just jump in a company because you've seen me talking about dog or whatever on Super Service or, or on, on YouTube or like I'm in talking about JNR or whoever he worked work for. You feel me? Do your own research and make the best decision for you and yours. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the recruiter just lie to you. Just get what they say and then, then fact check them. Do your own research. Talk to a driver that works at that company. I'm sure uh, what another driver told me, what he did, he went to a truck stop and started asking drivers that work for the company he thought he was going to go work for and just see what's going on. Hey, you work for such and such. I don't want to know how it is. You feel me? Drivers, that's all I want to say, man. Thank you for allowing me on your show, Lockout Man. Uh, God bless you, brother. You be safe. And it, it's been a pleasure, man. All right, KB Smooth. Thanks for coming on, man. I do appreciate it. That's my man, KB Smooth. You guys can check him out on YouTube, KB Smooth. And I uh, believe he's on uh, Instagram and all that other good stuff. But you you can find him on uh, on uh, YouTube. KB Smooth. Uh, I know he got some numbers after after his seven thing. eight. KB yeah. Smooth Trucker yeah. seven eight. KB, yep. KB Smooth Trucker seven eight. I appreciate you coming on, KB man. Let's uh let's do this again, man. Hey, uh, I am locked out, man. Let let me turn it down right quick. Let me let me turn it down right quick. All the companies that I have that I work for, you know what I'm saying? There's no ill will from any of the companies that I have drove for. I drove, I only drove for, I only drove, I only drove for three in my lifetime. In my lifetime, three, five years, three companies. Who does that? Who does that? Five years, somebody with five years, like somebody with five years drove for like eight, nine, ten companies. Me, three companies. U.S. Express, don't have no ills with them. You could go see what happened to me on that, even though what happened to me wasn't, wasn't fair. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it, 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 is what it was. J&R Swoogle, like I said, when I came in, started doing videos, started talking, I got pulled into the, uh, in the HR. They offered me more money. Not only the, not only the money that I was getting for the re, I mean for the referrals, but I was getting money for promoting the company. So what per, what what who am I not to not to accept that? You know what I'm saying? J, J, uh, J, mm -hmm. uh, J and R Swoogle. When I left them, I still got look for the money alone. I got love for them. For Matt alone, I got love for them. For John Uker alone, I got love for him. You know, I like that. But as far as as far as everything else, I'm that's my past. I, you know, I still talk about him because like I said, I still got people that's calling me up, asking me about him. I got people that's in that's that still work for him that I still talk to. So that's what's up. No disres no no disrespect and no shots fired. No shots fired. So when a person like when a person like that chick that trying to try to throw a person up under a bus and all I was doing was just calling in for information, you know, that's, you know, whatever. And for my current company, you know what I'm saying? Not going to say who they are, even though some of you do. You know what I'm saying? To my to my current company, I still got love for them. I still I, I still got I, I still got love for my current company. 
If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell on the way out the door or at that all button. If you want to get at me, lock out me in podcast at gmail.com. 216-600-2090 or Instagram. Hit me up in the DM. Me, Lockout Men, my humble host, my man KB Smooth to come on and talk about super service and me talk about JNR Swoogle now. We are gone.